I'm a yay math. I'm a leprechaun. I don't know what that is. Just do math. I am a leprechaun. No, math, 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 Wait, it's good. It's good. No, it's, it's good. You're good. You're good. Oh. <laughs> it was always good. Okay, so we have Mathema Green Monster, Mathema Goatee, Mathema Flannel Shirt, Mathema Flannel. This not even flannel. Mathema Goat. You know, Mathema Potato. Oh, I have a goatee. Like, oh yeah. Mathema Potato. Mathema Potato. Is that how they? Is that the name of goatee? Seriously? A goatee is like. Why do I keep doing this? Because. Because goats have goatees. They, they go down to here. They go like this? Oh. Yeah, like, okay. Whoa. 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 Okay. Whoa. 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 <laughs> you're still Her doing it. <laughs> Everyone's like, whoa, and you're like, what? <laughs> you're still doing it as well. Okay. Not much. Game map? Yay yeah, math! Yay yeah, math! Yay yeah. yeah. math! Go ahead. This is embarrassing. Come on, baseball players. <laughs> so this is the problem. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Vertical asymptotes. We recall on, can we do those again? from last time. Let's talk about it. Vertical asymptotes are, are the vertical lines which the graph cannot touch. Oh, I remember that. So what is the value for x that is not allowed here? Zero. 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 So do you agree that the line x equals zero is where this graph cannot touch? Did you touch? just make this up? No, this is example 1a on your paper. Oh. Second page. <laughs> hmm? So Second page. let's make this va. It's the state name for Virginia. So. There is the line x equals zero. Any questions about the line x equals zero is this vertical line. And that every x value on this red dotted line is zero. X is always zero on this line. Okay. Now let's talk about horizontal asymptote. Flip, or not even flip, look at the top of your paper. And let's talk about the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. Right? And there's three different situations. No, aren't they one? So let's talk about it. You guys know what the degree of the denominator is, right? What's the degree of the denominator? One. 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 Very good, because it's an exponent of one. Right. So this is degree one. What is the degree of the numerator? One. No, oh. One, because it's, it's just one. But wouldn't one. x to the one be degree one? Yeah. It's zero. It is zero, right? Really? x to the one, degree one. x to the two is degree two. 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 Oh, I thought you just wrote degree i, and I didn't, yeah. Oh, yes, degree, degree Wait. one. Oh, I get one. it. Why, well, I don't, I don't So, know, I don't if know. x to the one is degree one, stand over here, if x to the one is degree one, and x to the two is degree two, what would x Nothing to the zero be? No degree. Degree zero, right? We can say degree zero. And what is x to the zero, really? One. one. The number one. So, I'm going to put this here for just about a couple seconds, and then I'm going to erase it. Oh, I is it, it. It's sort of like saying x to the two to the x times two to the zero. Oh, wow! And if it's x times two to the zero, two times x to the zero. Excuse me, I'm saying it too fast. So two times x to the zero. This is degree zero because it's like saying two times one. So I'm going to take it off. It's like saying two times one. So in other words, constants are always degree what? Zero. <laughs> degree zero. Yeah. And you have, hopefully you have that right down your paper. Question, please. But if it's... But yeah. your hand was here and then we'll take yours. Well, you know how when we have exponents like x squared over x1, it becomes an x? Yeah. So if it's x to the zero, then you subtract a one from the bottom? Yeah, but all but we're doing... But then it's going to be, and then it's going to flip over into... Right, we're not side. simplifying though. Right. We're not simplifying. We're just regarding the degree of the numerator and degree of the denominator. Turtle in the back? Oh. Question? Yeah. Um, but for two, can it just be degree one? No, because that would be two x. 
Because isn't the degree based on the exponent oh, yeah, of the variable? Oh, yeah, okay. So this is degree zero. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, what is the horizontal asymptote according to your paper? A one. Zero. What zero? Very good. Y equals zero. Y equals zero. So that's right on your paper. Horizontal asymptote. Y equals zero. I don't yeah. understand. Let's read that together. Could you read where it says uh, number one, degree? Degree of a numerator <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is less than the degree of the denominator. Um, horizontal, horizontal asymptote y, y equals, equals zero. zero. Is the degree of the numerator zero? Mm, yes. Is the degree of the denominator one? Yes. Is so that less than, is the numerator's degree less than the denominator's? Yes, therefore when, it's equal to zero. Therefore the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. What is the line y equals zero look like? The x-axis. Yeah, yeah, feeling it? But it is pretty much aligned with the x-axis. So these two asymptotes are where the graph will never touch. Okay, so now we can plot some points and see what happens. Whoa. So let's give it up. X and Y. So it's not gonna ever cross that line. Yeah, the, the, the graph that we're about to graph, I'll graph it in blue, let's say. It will never touch an asymptote because asymptotes are the points which the graph <laughs> asymptotes are the are the points which the graph can't touch. So give me some points. Can X be zero? One. No. Oh one. wait. Four. One. One. One is good. When X is one, Y is <laughs> two. Graphing it. One, two. How about when four. X is four? When x is 4, y is? 2 plus 1 half. Why not? Yeah. 4, like 1 negative half. One. Here. And let's do 1 half. When x is 1 half? 4. 4. Good job. Ooh. 2 divided by 1 half is 4. Nice. So 1 half 4 would be here. So now, the idea of asymptotes is you can get close, you can hug them, but you know kissy. <laughs> Why do I do an accent? <laughs> so, am I flashing back to something? <laughs> no kissing! <laughs> I'm like, asymptote. <laughs> so, indeed. <laughs> something like that, alright? Why would it just keep going? What happens if you do negative ones? We're going to do that now, yeah. So, uh, for now, this is half oh, of the graph. Yeah, we're going to do this start. So notice, is that a curve? as x gets smaller, yeah, it's curve. Okay. Yeah. As x gets smaller, y gets very large. And as x gets very large, y gets smaller <laughs> over and over. Now I, I agree. Let's do some negatives. Wait. How about x is? Mr. Okay, so what? We heard a wait? Wait. Yes, yeah, name? but uh, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese, okay. <laughs> First thing, I'm hungry. Um, I just ate lunch too. Um, I'm confused how we get the horizontal asymptote. Okay, horizontal asymptote, name? Uh, What's your name? Nikki. Me? No. Yeah. Um, Nikki. Yeah, Nikki. Nikki. Okay, Nikki just pointed out and read the first point here at the top of your page. Yeah. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is always y equals zero. Okay. And that's the rule, all right? So just keep that rule in mind. Okay. Yes? So does the line get closer and closer <laughs> to the x-axis? Does it ever, like, go out? No. It'll so just it just... Really, really close. Going to go 0 0.1, 0 0.01, yeah. 0 0.01, yeah. 0 0.01, very, very whoa, 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 Yes, whoa, yes, whoa, it comes whoa. really close, really close, but never touches. Forever. Forever, Forever and ever. How is that possible? Because there's an infinite amount of points. There's an infinite number of points. Oh, 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 one is all hiding inside this point. That is crazy. Yes, please. Yeah. Is this only when it's the degree of zero it looks like this? Uh, no, it's just based on how it adheres to the asymptotes. So I want you guys to keep that phrase in your mind. The, this blue graph, which is halfway done, by the way, because we haven't done negatives. Right? We haven't done negatives yet. If you want to start working negatives on your paper, feel free. But... Uh, the way that these graphs work is that they, they come close to asymptotes. Notice it's coming close to this asymptote as well, but won't touch. And it's coming close to this asymptote as well, but won't touch. So our asymptotes could be anywhere. And we're going to see, we're going to have asymptotes over here, over here. Yes? Potato. Yes, potato. Um, so for the negative, is it just 
opposite side. It's yeah. The exact same thing, but on yeah, the you're gonna see it's side. gonna be down here. Yeah. Yeah. What so picture? it's gonna be in the third quadrant. Oh, same thing. It turns out to that. Yeah, but you will graph and see. So if x is negative one, y is negative two. Negative two.